we are on the move again. Uh, we're sailing to the north side of St. Thomas. We're on the north side now, actually. Tomorrow we're supposed to get a big north swell. Actually, not that big, like five foot, but a long period. So really could be fun for surfing. And I know I've read about one surf spot here on the north side, but I bet you there's a few. So we're gonna, uh, we're sailing up here to anchor on the north side. So hopefully we can dinghy around and find some surf tomorrow. And uh, yeah, just go someplace different and check it out. It's It's been beautiful sailing. We went downwind, down the south side of the coast, and then around the west side. And now we're tacking into the wind on the north side. And I just tightened the force day yesterday, and we're pointing really, really well. Much better than we've ever pointed before, I think. Good sailing. Did we pass it already? <laughs> what kind did it look like? I just saw the glow, glow spout. I thought I saw a whale. They were just looking out for this whale that I thought I saw right in front of us. I don't see it. Oh, out, straight out front. Between those two beaches. How far? See, right there. No, how far? 200 yards. You see him? Not right now, but I did. That is not 200 yards. <laughs> how far is it? <laughs> like 500. Look, look, look. Right in front of us. Where? I see it underwater. Oh my goodness. Watch it. Hold Jetty. Wow. Oh. There's two. Whoa. All right, I'm going to turn. I think we're good. Are we clear, love? Just dropped the hook right by where we saw the whales just a second, a few minutes ago, and it looks like a perfect, quiet little spot. Look at this, with a few, couple little beaches, one right there, one over there. Except there's definitely some swell rolling in, so it's gonna be quite an interesting beach landing. Yeah, we might just anchor the dinghy and swim in. We'll see what, what it looks like over there. Not the most perfect anchorage in the world because it is a little bit exposed and a little bit rolly. And uh, with this swell coming in, it's supposed to be like five foot tomorrow, but at like 11 seconds or something. So nice medium period swell. And uh, I think we'll have a roll, but we're in like 25 feet of water right now. So we're not in any risk of any waves but it'll be a little bit rolly and then maybe we'll be able to surf in the morning and then keep on cruising later on uh tomorrow or something like that if it's too rolly but besides that beautiful spot no one's around except for maybe a few people on the beach but mostly quiet a few houses on the cliffs up there what do you think of this spot it's just us the palm trees and the whales yeah what do you think of those whales that was so cool that was the closest we've ever been to whales before so far we have seen pilot whales in the Bahamas, sperm whales in um, Dominica, humpback whales in Guadeloupe, and another sighting of humpback whales in the USBIs. Are those humpbacks? For sure? I think so. How sure are you? 90%. Correct us if Sierra's wrong. All right, what do you want to do? Go to shore, check it out. Go find me some cocoa nuts. I found you a present. What is it? Do you want it? Yeah. Do you really want it? Yes. Ah! I just had the world's most perfect beach landing through the reef behind us. We shot the reef. Now we got this own little beach to ourselves. There is a fire pit and some picnic chairs and lounge chairs and stuff, so people must come down here at some point, but... What do you think, Jets? You like this place? 
our own secluded private beach. We're just being responsible citizens of the world and practicing our social distancing. There were people on the other beach, so that's why we didn't go to that beach. That actually looked like an easier beach landing. And Sierra's already hunting for some coconuts. Find any coconuts? Yeah, but I need you to climb up and get them on the tree over there. Would you like mushrooms on your pizza tonight? Are these edible? <laughs> I doubt it. They look scary. I think it'd be super cool to know all about mushrooms and what you can eat and what you can't. Because I know that some of them are super poisonous. And then some of them, if you eat them, you start to see things. And uh, But some of them you could just eat and they're healthy for you. But I don't know anything about mushrooms. I know a bunch of people on Long Island that forage for mushrooms. Not the kind that make you see things, the normal kind that you eat. That don't make you see things. That's our next step in living off the land. We're doing some mushrooms? Yeah. We've always heard that St. Thomas is like a really kind of a busy, a cruise shippy, built up, touristy island, like not super nice. But of course every place has some nice little spots and this is kind of a surprise. It's a really nice quiet little spot. Probably pretty difficult to get to. Just goes to show you even on the busy touristy islands you can get away and find little gems like this. Rocks are getting a little bit sketchy, Sierra and Jetty. Turned back, but I want to go a little bit further. I gotta see what's up around this point. Look at adrenaline way in the distance over there. All right, well, that's enough exploring isolated, desolate beaches on our own for one day, what you say? Well, I'd say it's never enough, but I guess it's time to go back to And it's gonna rain. Try to get back to the boat before so that we can shut the hatches. That's part of boat life that I think people don't think about. You always wanna leave your hatches open so you get good ventilation, but it's risky when you leave your boat because if it rains like it does, all these squalls pop up super quick in the tropics, then everything's getting soaked inside. So, all right, wish us luck on this beach coral reef surf launch, and uh, we'll see you back on the boat. We moved anchorages to be in a better spot to catch some waves, but if you're in a spot with waves, it generally means the anchorage probably isn't as calm as you would like it. So we're rolling pretty nicely now but we're gonna try to move over to the other side of the anchorage where it's a little bit more protected and while we're at it we are going to switch our secondary chain with our primary chain because our links are getting a little bit uh, worn out and it's not too good so we don't want to risk breaking losing our anchor and breaking free so we're gonna do it before that happens just gonna swap anchors because we've noticed that on our main anchor chain that we're really losing some diameter on uh, the first third of the chain. This still is the chain that doesn't quite fit the windlass so we need new chain anyway but we are not gonna get it right now. But we're gonna just swap the chain on our main anchor just so we have nice fresh chain on the main anchor and we don't risk breaking our old chain that's like really thinning, thinning out. I'll show you, let's see, maybe you can see it up here. Yeah, look how, I mean, it's not crazy bad, but it's definitely not good. So can you show me a good one? Well, that's the full diameter here, and then like that's what it's down to. So actually, yeah, it is pretty bad. That's definitely, uh, that's probably like half the diameter. 
so that's not good at all. So then we'll, uh, yeah. I mean. And honestly, I would have never noticed that. How'd you know to look? Because I just know that that's a factor in the chain. And it's best right on us. So we will continue this in a second. So what's first? We have the same mantis swivel on both anchors, so I just took it off the shackle. And we'll just swap which ones are on which. We're going surfing. There's a good, a decent north swell out there. I mean, it's rolling into this big bay here. So hopefully we can find a good break. There's a well-known surf break right around the corner from here. It's the only one I could really find on the internet. We're here in Megan's Bay. And right here, Hull Bay is what the internet says. So I think down here people surf, maybe in here or somewhere down here. So we're going to check that out. And then we're also going to see along this coast if there's any other spots. We saw people surfing here yesterday when we passed by. But we're going to see if we can find some other spots where there's no people. Maybe even up here and just all along this coast and see what we find. Hopefully we can find some empty waves all to ourselves. So let's go. find some empty waves? I hope so.
Did you have fun? Yeah, it was a lot of fun. The waves weren't as good as in Kariku, but they were still fun. They're pretty, some big ones, just a little flatter, a little choppy, but it's still a blast. I mean, think about everyone else. Uh, the rest of the country isn't even allowed to surf. Like, people are getting arrested for surfing. Yeah, because, it's probably like, gonna happen here soon, too. Yeah, so. it probably will. But, I mean, if we could just take a boat to the spot and then whatever. Yep, so we're very lucky. Hey, doggy. Thank you. What you waiting for up there? Uno, hola, dos, tres. Like I said before, this is Megan's Bay in here, or Megan's Bay. I don't know how you say it correctly. Got a yacht over here. There was another one here this morning. Sport fishing boat just leaving. And then Adrenaline is straight right there. And then a few other boats who came in here today and a couple who were here yesterday. And apparently this beach over here is like a world famous beach. Like top 10 in the world in these travel magazines and stuff like that. But why can't we go to that beach? Um, I read that no dogs are allowed and it also doesn't look like you're allowed to beach your dinghy. Well, maybe over here by these other boats. I bet you are over there. Right there. I read no dogs allowed. Where'd you read it? On the chart. Navionics. So we've just been coming to this little tiny beach right here. And Jenny loves it and it's perfect. We got some surfing in today, which was awesome. Something I definitely wanted to do. I am out of shape. Are you tired? Yeah, I'm but not so as tired. As you seem. <laughs> like I, you know what? I'm not that tired. I'm just, I'm, I'm tight. I'm, I gotta stretch some more. My hips are tight and they hurt. I've been asking you to do yoga with me. I'm getting old, man. I'm getting so old. Are we leaving here or staying tomorrow? Probably leave. We'll probably sail over to St. John's tomorrow, or maybe we'll stay and just get a bunch of work done. We'll see what happens. Pelican almost went after it. Social isolation doesn't get much better than this, does it? 